company, uh, Hadoop, which is an open source project, but Cloudera, welcome, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, John. Hi, nice I'm Dave you. Vellante. Nice, nice to, to see you. To see you. Um, so Cloudera, which you know, obviously we love because mm -hmm. SiliconANGLE is in the Cloudera office and uh, you know, we see you guys on a daily basis um, working away and got Friday lunches, ice cream at night, mm -hmm. the developers are coding all around the clock, we have our studio there. Um, Cloudera is a very special place right now. It's, Cloudera is one of the hottest startups in Silicon Valley, um, really commercializing the open source Hadoop. Um, give us the update on the show here. You guys recently saw that Yahoo announced that they're discontinuing distribution for Hadoop but will support Apache. Um, one, can you comment on that? And then two, just what's going on with, with Hadoop and sure. Cloudera? So as far as Yahoo's distribution, um, I think that you know, Yahoo's going to continue being a really strong supporter of Apache Hadoop and, and Cloudera loves that. Um, I think that CDH is a, a platform that's been very popular and uh, you know we're excited that our customers are using it. CDH, Cloudera's distribution. Cloudera's distribution for Hadoop, yeah. It's the acronym. And uh, in our, our training offerings, uh, you know, we've had strong um, support for what we do to build CDH. Uh, customers really like, you know, that we take the Apache Hadoop code and all these other projects and build them into a, a really stable nice, usable platform. One of the key training things right now, we've talked with Gretchen sure. about training and, and John, uh, we're going to do some videos at Cloudera um, with you guys in the Cube around training in a different way. But I mean, you, you guys have adoption. You guys have essentially only game in town at this point with Yahoo backing out on the commercial side for Hadoop. Have you seen massive demand for training? And, and is, yeah. it, is it how to, or is it more like, give me the nuts and bolts uh, of specific deep tech? It's both. Um, so our training program has, has grown significantly in the last year uh, since I've been on board. We've expanded not only in the curriculum, but um, the number of offerings that we do. Uh, we're running training classes every week around the country and, and around the world. Uh, our most popular class is our Hadoop for Developers program. Uh, three days where we teach people, you know, what is MapReduce, what is HDFS, and uh, all the components that take uh, a developer to be able to build these applications on Hadoop, including Hive and Pig and writing Java MapReduce and streaming. We also have a, a course on HBase, which HBase is, you know, just really starting to take it's off. Very popular. It's getting massive, uh, massive momentum. Agreed, and uh, so luckily we were able to, you know, stay kind of ahead of the curve and create an HBase course on that. And then, so the people that take our developer course and our HBase course tend to be, you know, they're the fairly new, they're de developers, they know they need to use this platform. They're tire kickers. Yeah. They're kicking the tires, getting feel for the, what the code it looks like. Sure. Community. And then we have the other side, you know, we have this Hadoop for Administrators course, and there we get our, our sysadmins. They're already in the field setting up Hadoop. They need advice on configuring uh, Hadoop properly, the best practices what hardware do we recommend, and the RAID configurations, and that kind of thing. And uh, so there we get the people who have maybe a little bit more experience. They're, they're savvy, they're, they're mm -hmm. hands on, they're spinning up clusters, they're doing a lot of the detail work, right? No doubt. That's the advanced course, basically, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Mm -hmm. where, um, where is Cloudera seeing competition, right? I mean, everybody's looking at Cloudera going, wow, what a, what a great <laughs> idea. Um, everybody wanna, wants to work there and you know, inevitably and attracting a lot of money, so inevitably you're going to get competition. Where, where are you seeing that? Oh, gee, well, cross our fingers. Uh, there hasn't mm. been much, I guess, so far. Uh, there's, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of players in this big data space, if you will, um, but we see a lot of them as complementary. Uh, so in, even in training, the customers that we see say, you know, I have these other products. I have a Teradata or Natiza or Oracle. And we say, great, we have a connector for you. Mm -hmm. Or they say, you know, how do I augment my OLTP environment with my, you know, web logs, with my other things? And we say, you know, great, we, we, yeah. can, <laughs> we can keep all those and, and integrate. So, Great I, question. <laughs> here's, here's how, okay. Okay, Sarah, we're going to have to take a, a, a oh. pause here and bring you back because we have Sarah scheduled from who's the VP of uh, events for O'Reilly and we wanted to make a spot for her. So if you don't Great. mind. Not at uh, all. For, for a pause, we'll come right back. Thanks, John. And we're going to hopefully Thanks, have Ammer and John Kay. We're trying to get Doug Cutting and Tom White who wrote the book, um, Definitive Guide uh, on Hadoop. So we're going to come back to Cloudera. Um, we're gonna